Congratulations. I'm Prefect Gemma Farley, and I'm delighted to welcome you to Slytherin House. Our emblem is a serpent, the wisest of creatures. Our house colours are emerald green and silver, and our com common room lies be behind the concealed entrance down in the dungeons. As you'll see, the window looks out to the depth depths of the Hogwarts Lake. We often see a giant squid swishing by, and sometimes more interesting creatures. We will be, we like to feel our, that our hangouts have a, have an aura of mysterious underwater shiver. Now there are, there are a few things you should know about Slytherin, and a few you should not, and you should, and a few you should forget. Firstly, let's despise a few myths. You might have heard the rumors about Slytherin House, that we all are all into dark arts, and will only talk, and will only talk to you if your great grandfather was a famous wizard, and rubbish like that. Well, you don't want to believe anything you hear from the com competing houses. I'm not denying what, that we have produced our share of dark wizards, but we have other, but, but so have the other three houses. They just don't like to admit it. And yes, we traditionally tend to take students who have come from a long line of witches and wizards. But nowadays, you'll find plenty of people in Slytherin House who have at least one muggle parrot. Here's a little to know about the other three houses. That the other three houses don't bring out much. Mer Merlin was a Slytherin. Yes, Merlin himself. The most famous wizard in history. He learned all he knew in this very house. Do you want to follow in the footsteps of Merlin? Or would you rather sit at an old de desk that, il that illustrates ex Hufflepuff, a glitzy puppet? Inventor of the self soaping disc cloth? No, I don't think so. Well, that's. But that's enough of it about what we're not. Let's talk about what we are, which is the coolest edgiest house in this school. We play to win, because we care about the honour and traditions of Slytherin. We also get great respect from our fellow students, yet, so, yet some of that respect might come tingled with fear because of our dark arts reputation. Out a few hints that you might get access to the whole library of curses and see whether anyone feels nicking, feels like nicking your pencil case. But we're not bad people. We like our emblem, the snake, sleek, powerful, and frequently misunderstood. For instance, we Slytherins look after our own, which is more than you can say for Ravenclaw. Apart from the, apart from be, being the biggest bunch of squats you ever met. Ravenclaws are famous for clambering each other to get good marks, whereas we Slytherins are brothers. The corridors of Hogwarts can throw surprises for the unwary, and you'll be glad you got serpent you got the serpents on your side as you move around the school. As far as we're concerned, once you become once you become a snake, you're one you're one of ours, one of the elite. Because you know Sazar Slytherin looked after his chosen students the seed of greatness. You have been chosen by this house because you've got the potential to be great in the true sense of the, of the word. All right, you might see a couple of people hang around the common room whom you might not think are destined for anything special. Well, keep that to yourself. The sorting hat put them in here. There is something great about them and don't you forget it. And talking about people who aren't destined for greatness, haven't I, I haven't mentioned the Gryffindors. Now, a lot of people say that Slytherins and Gryffindors represent two sides of the same coin. Personally, I think Gryffindors are nothing but a wannabe Slytherins. Mind you, some people say that Sazar Slytherin and Godric Gryffindor prize the same kind of students, so perhaps we are more similar than we like to think. But that doesn't mean we can cozy up with Gryffindors. They like beating us slightly less than we like beating them. A few more things that you might need to know. Our house ghost is the Bloody Baron. If you get on the right side of him, he'll sometimes agree to frighten people for you. Just don't ask him about how he got the blood stains. 
He doesn't like it. The password for the common room changed every fortnight. Keep an eye on the notice board. Never bring anyone from another house into our common room or tell them our password. No outsider has entered the common room for more than seven centuries. Well, I think that's it for now. I'm sure you'll like our dormitories. We sleep from we sleep in ancient four poster and green silk hangings and bedspreads embroidered with silver thread. Medieval tapestries disputing the adventures of famous Netherlands couple of walls and silver lanterns hang from the ceiling. You sleep well, it is very soothing listen, lis, listening to the lake water tapping against the windows at night. The Patronus is the most famous and famously difficult defensive child. Their aim is to produce a silvery white guardian or protector, which takes the form of an animal. The exact form of the Patronus will not be apparent till the spell has been successful, successfully cast. One of the most powerful defensive char charms known to wizard kind. The Patronus can also be used as a messenger between wizards, as a pure protective guide, magical concentration the ha of happiness and hope. The re the re re recollection of a single talisman memory is essential in its creation. It is only it is the only spell effective against the mentors. The majority of witches and wizards are unable to produ produce patronuses, and to do so is greatly considered a mark of superior magical ability. Some witches and wizards may manage to incorporate patronuses, which re resembles a mass wisp of silvery vapour or smoke. And in some cases, a actual wizard may choose to produce and incorporate Patronus deliberately if he or she wishes to disguise the form from the generally tasks takes. Rem Remus Lup Lupin, for, for instance, is afraid that his corporal Patronus gives too much away. The incorporal Patronus is not a true Patronus, and while it gives limited protection, it cannot provide defensive power against corporal Patronus, which has a form of sub, which has the form and substance of an animal. The, Patron the Patronus charm is one of the most ancient of charms, and appears in many accounts of early magic. In spite of a long association with those fighting for lofty or noble causes, those able to produce corporal patronuses were often ex elex elected into high offices with the wizard gaunt in the Ministry of Magic. The patronus is not unknown among dark, dark wizards. While there are a wide, while there is a widespread and justified belief that a wizard who is not Pure and a heart of heart cannot produce a successful Patronus. One of the most one of the most famous examples of this spell backfiring is that of the dark wizard Raxilian, who was deported by maggots. A rare few witches and wizards question the morals have succeeded in producing the charm. Dolores Umbridge, for example who is able to conjure, conjure a cat to protect herself from dementors. It may be that a true confident belief, belief in the rightness of one's actions can supply the necessary happiness. However, most such men and women who have been centred to the effects of dark creatures whom they may ally themselves regardless of the choices it, as and a necessary spell to have the, their arrangal. No reliable system for predict, predicting the form of an individual's Patronus has ever been found, although a great 18th, 18th century researcher of charms, Professor Catullus Sprangle, set forth as certain principles that are wisely accepted as
hey guys, it's Hitty Shoebot, and I hope and this is the end of this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please give the, keep this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Harry Potter. I thoroughly enjoy it myself. I, as you can see from the Hogwarts house sorting, I'm clearly a Slytherin. Even though many people don't see me as a Slytherin, I am in fact a Slytherin. Some of the stuff that was said about Slytherins during the voiceover surprised me a fair bit, to be honest. But, you know, what's something without a little surprise every now and then? Anyway, I'll see you all next week with a brand new video, and I'll catch you all later.